Okay, so we're today we're making a landing page and a bridge page. I'm going to show you how to set up landing pages and the bridge page so they connect. So the person opts in and then they go to the bridge page. And I'll show you a little bit how to design both pages and add in the opt in and things like that. So there's all these. This is you go to Cheetah, obviously, then you go to professional templates. Okay, and then there's all these choices. So uh, you can edit any of these. So these are just like a got like a base to start with. You don't have to like you could even if say you're you're not in fashion and beauty, but you like how the landing page looks. You could click. Um, you could take a look at that. Uh, niche funnels. Here's here's popular niches. So any of these will work. You know you can make them into anything. So if you like the design of how it looks, but you want it for your niche and you're not in. So if you want for talk, if you you like how this photography niche looks, but you're not in photography. You're in uh, say dating or something. You can still you can still use it. Okay. So I'm going to pick that one because that's nice. That's a nice landing page. So we're going to select this. Boom. Okay. We're going to save that. Okay, we're building it. And then once that comes up, okay, so here's the photography site that we just looked at. So first, you can see that there's three pages on this one, uh, but we can just ignore one of them. We don't need it. So we'll just delete it after. So let's go to the first home. We know this is the first page because that has the home there. So we edit this. This is our landing page because it had that home symbol in there. Okay, so what we're going to do is uh, it already has the bridge page set up for us already. We're going to go and design it after. So if there, let's say that um, you want to change the text, you would just go in there and, and then just hit the text editor. Okay, and you can edit the text however you like. Uh, you can edit any of this text. If you wanted to change the colors on the buttons, you can do that as well. You hit the pencil there. So I just highlighted it, hit the pencil. And then um, what, what happens is, so let's try that again. Hit the pencil, and then the mailing boss form comes up, okay? So hopefully you saw that. Then there's the general settings, and then there's all the fields over here on the right, general colors. Someone want to change the color of the button, change it to, like, whatever, green. So you can do that, and then, you know, if I want to change something else, like I want to change... I highlighted this photo. Okay, you can see the pencil there up at the top left. There's the image comes up, and then I can change the photo. Okay, so whatever. Ah, so whatever you select, you can edit, and then your, this comes up with all my templates. So whatever you highlight, you can edit. Okay, okay. So we're gonna exit out of here for now. Oh, and actually, let me show you. So we're gonna connect the bridge page now. So I select I select this white space. I'm going to hit the gear. Okay. So first I'm going to select my list. So what email list do I want them to go to? So if I already have a list made, I can select it. If I don't, I can create a new list. Okay. So let's say I'm in dating and I don't have a list that I'm going to create new list and just, uh, we're going to use create list with the, I'm going to use the old mailing boss 4.0 for now. Okay. Cause the 5.0 is not ready. And then that's done. Then you're out of there. Then over here, we're going to go to the chain link. Go to the chain link and what this does is this sends people to your bridge page this connects your bridge page so i first i hit that and i want them to go this is the next page in the thing okay page that's the second page that's my bridge page okay boom done subscribe to the same thing on that boom done and then the unsubscribe you can just leave blank and that's it okay if I wanted to send them to another page, I could have done that as well. So everything's done in this page. So I'm going to save it. It's fine. Okay. Make sure that you re you have to, you just can't save it. You actually have to republish it. So you have to exit here with the home. Kind of exit. And then I'm going to republish it there. I hit that republish button there. Now I'm going to go and edit my bridge page or my thank you page. So we just connected the two pages in that first part of the video. Now this is the bridge page. So this is where people are going to land after they opt in. And you just edit the text how you want. 
If you have a product like an affiliate product, you'll put the affiliate product somewhere in here. You're done.